Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website, where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVS. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2005 Born Free 24RB with 51,552 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Born Free 24RB. The RB stands for Rear Bathroom. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. So we got the born-free quality that is well-known in this unit. We got the roll bars inside of these casements. So we've got a roll bar in the front, up here in the very front, in the middle and in the back. We've got about 76 inches of headroom in the rear, about 73 inches at this roll bar casement, and that tapers up from 76 to 84 inches here in the front, so lots of headroom. We've got a fantastic fan in the center of the coach. This acts like an attic fan at night or an exhaust fan if you open up the windows and bring the cool outside air in. This runs on DC power, so your coach battery has a rain sensor and an automatic opener. Got a smoke detector here, another detector there. Got our TV antenna crank there. This is your air conditioner. This is controlled via the buttons or the knobs right on the front of the unit itself. That runs on shore power or generator, so your AC power system. Got the thermostat here that controls the propane furnace. That is a ducted furnace. Comes out through the little ducts there along the ground. Got a jackknife sofa here. Got a window that opens with a screen on this portion here. Also on this portion. Got our manuals there. Got a TV. We got speakers up here and also over here. Those play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. Got a little pull out here. This table comes up and out like so. These chairs both have seat belts. They both go back and forth. They recline, they swivel. So you can get whatever position you'd like here. Also got a seat belt on this side that falls beneath the cushions here. So we've got a total of five seat belts in this unit, including the driver and passenger. Got AC and DC power behind this chair here. I'm gonna show you up top here real quick. Got a curtain there that buttons across the rear entry door to create privacy there. So for our sleeping in this one, we've got a jackknife sofa here. We've got a bunk bed up top. We'll check out the bed here in a little while up top. Right now I'm gonna drop a picture of this jackknife sofa made up so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 75 inches north-south or front to back and 46 and a half inches east-west or side to side. Now towards the center of the coach. This little slide out pantry spice rack. Stick your knives in there. The women tend to love these. We've got a two-way Norcold fridge freezer. So we've got our freezer up top and our refrigerator down below. There's a two-way, meaning it runs on AC power. So your shore power plug-in or generator or propane gas. I recommend leaving that in the auto setting. Got a standard microwave on this. This runs on AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got our levels test here. Push this button to test all those. The water tanks are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust those. We've also got LP gas and your coach battery. Got our water pump on off to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Hood light and fan. Two burner propane cooktop. Got lots of counter space. Got AC power. Got a window with a screen on the left-hand portion. Got a dual basin sink, got AC power there. 
fuse panel here. This has your AC breakers and your 12 volt DC fuses. Got two drawers. Got two more big drawers here. This one's pretty big and deep. Got our water pump and a winterization kit down there below. Close this bathroom door here. Got a nice, easily accessible entryway. Got our coach battery disconnect down here that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. They'll also, dis also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. A nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a screen door. Got some of our light switches. Got a rail here to help you get in. This is where you're gonna button that cover for privacy. Nice big closet. This top part is accessible in the bathroom here through this door. Check that out here in a minute. We've also got this spot down below. You can access that from the outside of the coach. That's your water heater. Stepping here into the bathroom. Easily accessible stool. Not much of a step up and into the shower. A little exhaust fan overhead. We've got our shower head and our soap dispenser. A little towel bar there. Got a nice counter space. Got a light switch for our shower lights. Got a single basin sink back here. We've got controls for the water heater. We've also got an AC plug in there. Also got this little spot up top that you can only access in the bathroom. Here we are in the rear of the RV. I finally realized why trees don't have teeth. Turns out they're all bark and no bite. Got a mix of hard surface flooring and carpet in this unit. This is not a chin-up bar. This is where you hook your bunk ladder here. It's got our bunk up top. This measures about 70 inches deep and 83 inches across. Got a spot up here for when you're sleeping up top. You got windows that open with screens on both sides. Got AC power up here. Can flip this up for better access to the cabin area. Got our Generac generator start stop that has 174 hours, fresh service, fresh oil change. Start and stop that there, runs off the fuel tank. Also got a curtain you can pull across the bunk area to block off the bunk while somebody's sleeping up here. So all in all, we've got a very, very nice born free here. This is a very nice specimen, very clean inside and out. Not finding a whole lot of things to fault this one for. Comparing this to other 2005s, I'm gonna call this an a 9.5. You could call it a nine overall, but really this is a very nice looking coach ready to hit the highway. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Cabin here, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got some glove box space. Got this curtain you can pull all the way across the front for privacy while you're parked. Got nice clean upholstery, no tears, burn marks, anything like that. The cigarette lighter is unused, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2005 Born Free 24RB. This motorhome measures 25 feet bumper to bumper with a 13 foot power awning. The tires have 1815 date coats. Those are all Michelins. This Born Free is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 51,552 miles. Got excellent shine on this one. I'm gonna say this unit had to have been stored inside with how good of condition the stripes are in for 2005 and how much shine's left. Got storage beneath the 
couch inside. Got our spare tire here. Also got a seat belt that falls down below the, the couch there. Got our propane tank that's attached to the RV. So I'll have to drive this somewhere to fill that up. Closer look at the stripes. Got the back of our refrigerator here. Got our switch to operate the power awning on the right. Also got AC power in here. Got our furnace exhaust. Got a handle to help you get up and into the coach. Two AC plug-ins so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got this compartment here with our water heater. It's accessible via the inside by the entry door. Got our ladder for rooftop access. Got a toilet vent there. Back of our water heater. Got a storage bay here. This is your shore power cord. Got a service access here. Got storage in the bumper. Access to the hitch. More storage. Okay, we've got the back of the water heater, if I haven't said that already. Really nice looking coach on the outside. We've got a sewer tank flush down here. Got a sewer hose storage. Got our black and gray. So you pull the black first and the gray. Got our shore power inlet here for the shore power. Got our fill for the onboard fresh water tank, our city water connection. Got an outside shower here. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach. Got our telephone in and our TV coax in. Got a little light out here as well. Again, just showing you these to see how nice this unit is. Got a couple little scratches here and there in the stripes, but this thing is just fantastic. Got a couple little marks there. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator stops running at a quarter tank. Got the fills for the rear airbag suspension. You can check the pressure there or inflate or deflate those. We've got two coach batteries in here on a drawer. Got our Generac 4K generator. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change. Again, really nice looking coach on the outside. Up top here, the Born Free is in excellent condition on the front. These are common to be faded because they face the sun a little more. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but the stripes up top do have a little bit of the puckering that you'd normally see, but that's really the worst spot on that unit here is up top, and that's not something you really see very much. Also got one little blemish here, top. All in all though, this is a fantastic looking Born Free. Tons of shine left throughout. Excellent looking unit. This one is ready to hit the highway.